Hello everyone and welcome to this Build a Nation Challenge with Build a Nation Challenge with Australia. We are going down under for this YouTube series and you can also find it on my TikTok channel and don't forget to like and subscribe because this is going to be an unbelievable series. The aim of this series is to win the World Cup with Australia and dominate Asian football with the Western Sydney Wanderers. And we take over the Socceroos. Can we dominate Asian football, win the Asian Cup, win all of those trophies with them and push on to make Australia win the World Cup? They are elite at sports like rugby and cricket. And the aim of this save is to make them the elite team in football with those golden green colours. Let's go the Socceroos. Let's first take a look at our squad at club level and see if we've got any great ballers in there that we recognize straight off the bat. And going through the back line, there really isn't anyone that I, I recognize because I am not familiar with Australian football. So I'm going to head over to the squad planner to see our experience matrix, to see what kind of squad we've got currently. And we've got a lot of experienced players in the squad, which isn't well balanced. So that's the first thing we really are going to have to sort out. And have a look at our development players as well. Tate Russell, under 23. He looks fairly decent Australian right back. I won't say he's going to rip up any trees, but you know, this is far from the final squad we've got with the Wanderers. Looking at our experienced players now, Reese Williams has had a career across the world. He's played for Middlesbrough. How couldn't I recognise him? And for my local team, Charlton, as well. He's the experienced head in the team. 14 caps for Australia at the tail end of his career and has a torn Achilles tendon. So it's not looking good in terms of the squad, guys. It's not looking that great. We do have former Everton baller Morgan Schneiderlin in the team as well, who will bring that bit of quality to the Wanderers, hopefully this season, playing in a deep-line playmaker role, I would assume, in the middle of the park. As we check out our schedule for this season as well, the Champions League group stage has already gone... Um, so there won't be no Champions League football for us this season. But what we will have is a series of friendlies followed by the start of the A-League. Kicking it off against Melbourne City FC. Going against Brisbane Roar, the Central Coast Mariners. It's looking like a fairly decent start to the season for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Currently, the A-League is the ninth best league in Asia. And we need to build the A-League up into being the best league in Asia. So the competition we've got in there is the Saudi League is currently the best. A long star with Qatar and the United Arab Emirates. The Chinese Super League comes in next. South Korea, Japan, Iran and Thailand's leagues are all above us. So we've really got to push forward this league into being the top league in Asia as well as dominating Asian football with the Western Sydney Wanderers and I can't explain to, to you enough how excited I am to get this league from ninth to being the best league in Asia. Tactically we are going to play the tried and tested Swanzola from GYR. I am a Swanzola merchant and you can put it in the comments I don't care lads this is what works and I'm going to bring that European success to Asia, to the Western Sydney Wanderers using the Swanzola tactic. If you haven't seen it before, it is positive football. It's a 4-2-3-1 Gengam press tactic with in possession, fairly wide, short passing, higher tempo, run at defence, work the ball into the box with mixed crosses. In the transition is counter, counter press, distribute to our fullbacks, take short kicks. And then here's the defensive shape. Prevent the short goal kiss to dig deeper distribution much more often and get stuck in. This is what we're going to start with. The tactics will evolve as we run through the seasons with the Wanderers. But I feel like the Wanderers have got some great starts for us, especially in terms of the facilities. We've got excellent training, ex ex excellent youth as well, if I can get my words out. The one thing we do need to increase on this Build a Nation Challenge to get those Australian new gens through our academy is the junior coaching that needs to be at an exceptional level, just like our youth recruitment is at exceptional. So I'm expecting a lot of good new gens in our first youth intake to really push Australia forward. And speaking of Australia, let's review the national team we start with. The Socceroos have had a decent footballing past with players like Tim Cahill, Mark Viduka, Harry Kuehl of the golden generation of Oz players. 
They are going through a bit of a revamp at the moment, and some of these names may not be as familiar to you as the aforementioned names that I just mentioned. But one name that does stick out to me is the Australian goalkeeper, Matt Ryan's played at a lot of big clubs. He's been at Brighton, he's been at Arsenal, he's been at Raul Sociedad, he's been at Copenhagen, he's been at AZ, but he's becoming a bit of a journeyman now in the twilight of his career. But he's still Australia's number one and he will be very important for us, especially in the tactic that we play, which will be the Swanzola. So same tactic at club level as at international level as well. And if we look at the back line, it is dominated by Degenik, who can play across the back line by the look of it. Harry Suter as well, the eight foot seven centre back. He's not quite eight foot seven, he's just massive. Uh, so there's my bit of a joke there. Brad Smith at left back. In the midfield, you may recognise if you are fans of Celtic, Aaron Moy and Tom Rogic. And cult hero Jackson Irvine can also play in the middle of the park with Cameron Deverin from Hearts providing the backup. It's a very good squad. Australia are one of the best teams in Asia, but our aim is to make them one of the best teams in the world. And then we look at the forward line. You've got Leckie can play on either wing, as well as Aaron Moy and Rogic filling in at that AMC role. Up front, it's Taggart, it's McLaren, and then it is Colt hero Jason Cummings, also known as Cumdog. Can he take us forward in Asia? And honestly... We've got the World Cup coming up, which is going to be very, very tough. We are in a tough group, as you know. We've got Denmark, France and Tunisia. So progressing through the group stage would be an unbelievable achievement in Qatar. Something the Australian team, I don't think, did unless I remember very, very wrongly. Can we go further than they did in this competition? I'd be, Hopefully we can finish second in the group, but Denmark's a tough ask. France is an unbelievable draw. And Tunisia, don't write them off as well. As well as winning the World Cup at some point with Australia, we need to get Australia to being the number one ranked FIFA team in the world. Currently, we're sitting pretty at 37, but that's not good enough, in my opinion. We need to be breaking into the top 10 and then breaking into the top five and then getting above teams like Brazil, Belgium, France and Argentina. It's going to be a, a long ride. We're going to have to make... A lot of changes. There's going to be a lot of new gens. There's going to be a lot of seasons. But what I can say, lads, is I'm very excited for this series. I love a builder nation. And I want Australia to be the best and biggest nation I've ever built. And if you want to see more of this content, on the next episode, we'll be playing first games with Oz, first games with Western Sydney Wanderers. Keep an eye out on YouTube because we're going to be posting episodes regularly. And I will see you on the next video.